How are humans impacting and affecting biodiversity? By Marley and Taylor. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is the variety of life in the world or in a particular habitat or ecosystem. Biodiversity boosts ecosystems where all species have an important role to play. A healthy biodiversity provides a number of natural services for everyone including ecosystem services, biological resources, and social benefits. Ecosystem services include protection of water resources, soil formation and production, nutrient storage and recycling, pollution breakdown and absorption, climate stability, maintenance of ecosystems, and recovery from unpredictable events. Biological resources include food, medical resources and pharmaceutical drugs, wood products, ornamental plants, breeding stocks, population reservoirs, future resources, and diversity of genes, species, and ecosystems. Social benefits include research, education and monitoring, recreation and tourism, and cultural values. This is a lot of services we get for free, and the cost of replacing these would be extremely expensive. Therefore, the economic and development sense to move towards sustainability. We told you how important a healthy biodiversity is. Now we're going to tell you how humans are affecting the biodiversity. Humans are the main factor in the loss of biodiversity. Did you know that right now, the extinction rate is 400 times higher than the normal average rate? Much of this increases the extinction rate is from the impact of humans. Habitat depletion, also known as habitat destruction, is the greatest threat to species. The world's swamps, lakes, forests, plains, and other habitats are continuing to disappear. They are being harvested for human consumption and are being cleared to make room for agriculture, roads, housing, pipelines, and other industrial development. Humans are affecting the biodiversity by pollution. Pollution is the introduction of contaminants into the natural environment that causes adverse change. Humans cause pollution by driving vehicles, littering, burning fossil fuels, manufacturing, and mining. Humans are increasing the extinction rate by also introducing diseases, introducing invasive species, and other exploitations. Over-exploitation refers to overfishing, poaching, and overhunting. Overfishing is a big problem because we are losing species as well as entire ecosystems. As a result of overall ecological unity of our oceans and under stress and at risk of collapse. Poaching has a considerable negative effect on the environment because when one animal population declines at an unnatural rate, others can rise or fall as well. This may lead to the extinction of poached animals and other animals and plant life in the area. Overhunting will cause a decline in particular animal species being overhunted and will affect everything around it. Did you know that at this rate of population growth that the world's population would double approximately every 40 years to over 12 billion people by 2050? Population growth is making an impact on biodiversity and, and is not a good one. As human population growth is expanding rapidly, it comes with a demand for land, food, water, energy and other resources. This will diminish habitats and will harm the biodiversity. Did you know that 50% of mangrove ecosystems globally have been transformed or destroyed by human activity? Ecosystems are important to humans because they supply us with very important resources needed for humans to survive, including providing us with food, water, and medicine. They regulate nutrient recycling and waste. They lock up carbon. They maintain clean air and water. They supply crop pollinization pest and disease control, they preserve genetic diversity and provide recreation for all of us. An ecosystem is important because it provides us with everyday items needed for our survival. What happens when we destroy everything? 
We will no longer have these resources that ecosystems provide for us, making it hard to survive. Biodiversity is a matter of human survival because the world's population depends on nature. About 40% of the global economy is based on biological products and services. More than 50% of all commercial medicines used today come from nature. 80% of the poor people de in developing countries and de are depending on traditional medicines of for nature. Remember the Great Barrier Reef? It has recently died and humans are the, one of the main causes. The human causes of coral reef depletion are pollution runoff, which are nitrates from fertilizers, point source pollution, and oil spills. Exploitation causes over 90% of saltwater aquarium fish to be taken directly from reefs. Increased water temperatures, the causes of that are global warming, which increased El Nino. Direct destruction when boats, fishing nets, and removal of coral was all for sale. After hearing about how humans are affecting the biodiversity, you may be asking, how can we help? Well, we are here to tell you and give you a couple tips to follow. Always remember the main cause of the loss of biodiversity. I got just the way for you to remember. Hippo. H. Habitat loss. I. Invasive species. P. Pollution. P. Population growth. O. Overconsumption. I'm going to give you just 10 ways to help the biodiversity and what you should do to help preserve our environment. Re reduce the use of pesticides and fertilizers in your gardens. This will affect... Reduce the use of pesticides and fertilizers in your garden. These affect wildlife populations and runoffs into water courses which affect water animals. Invest and grow wildlife-friendly gardens and choose wildlife-friendly fencing to allow some access. Volunteer for your local wildlife trust, community garden, or conservation group. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Use environmentally friendly, personal, and household cleaning products. For example, distilled vinegar. This reduces chemically contamination for habitats both during manufacturing and when those chemicals go down the drain. Buy local organic food and drinks. Buy sustainably harvest seafood, which avoids bycatch of other species. Conserve energy in your home. Reduce single person car use. Carpools, public transport, walking and biking are also options. Home buy or rent. Choose a home with renewable energy and or energy efficiency. Doing these 10 things or even a couple will save our, our biodiversity. Thanks for listening and I hope you take action and save our biodiversity.